Florida is expected to be spared of the major impacts from Ida, but preparations are already underway just in case. As WKRG News 5's Daniel Smithson reports, residents are staying cautious near Pensacola Beach. Many people I spoke to today at Pensacola Beach say they're not too concerned with Ida at this point, but emergency officials are urging residents to stay alert. Even though that skinny little black line goes to Louisiana, it's called the cone of uncertainty for a reason. Escambia County Public Safety Director Eric Gilmore says despite Hurricane Ida's current track, residents in Escambia County should prepare like it's coming this way. We preach know your zone. Are you in a low line area where we have potential for heavy rains and or, or along the coastline? Uh, now your home. Is it resilient enough to sustain the wind? Gilmore says the county has upped its emergency staff in case of any impacts like heavy rain or gusty winds. Many residents were out filling sandbags Friday to protect their homes from flooding. A main concern. Are you worried about it at all? Or I was this morning when I turned on the news and saw that it was coming not really directly at us, but it could come in at a hurricane category three. So I just thought I better be prepared. Emergency officials urging residents to pay attention and remain vigilant. Even though we're not in that cone, we can have uh, effects well, with outside, well outside the cone. So people need to be a weather aware at all times. We have a list of sandbagging locations at our website, WKRG.com. At Pensacola Beach, I'm Daniel Smithson, 